Mark Fowler, and welcome to Always Creating Value podcast, uh, presented by uh, Stowe Management Corporation, which I'm the president of. Um, this is our third podcast. This is a, a new thing for us, and <clears throat> it's very important because this is a, a part of our practice, uh, which is helping companies grow, helping companies turn around, helping companies do the things they need uh, to merge or to acquire other other companies. Um, and in that, in that process, over all the years that I've been doing this, an essential agreement, agreed, uh, ingredient is the idea of tapping into the value propositions that exist within the, the company and the people. Uh, but at the same time, um, stirring up the pot and helping them create their own value propositions. And it's been essential. I mean, we obviously, when you're helping people grow, you look at cost cutting, you look at um, getting more money, you look at different ways to approach. But we have found historically tapping into the inherent value aspects and helping them do it on a continuous basis. That's what it's always about. We talk about always creating value. It's always, you know, you can't get a, create value once a month. You've got to be able to create value on a daily basis. And the interview, our, our guest today, Damien English, is a good example of that because he's got to do it not only in one area of his, of his job description, but he's got to do it in a, many areas of his job description. Damien is the editor of Cal CPA Magazine, which is part of the California Society of CPAs. It's a monthly uh, high-end magazine that goes out to all members and to other parts of the world as well. You can go up online and, and find it, California Society of CPAs, California CPA Magazine. Um, Damien and I have known each other for a long time. I've written quite a few articles for Cal CPA over the years, and he has been immensely ha helpful to me in getting the right ideas out, uh, paying attention to, you know, what's my value in this article? You know, what's gonna interest people in, in what I'm, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say. It oftentimes isn't just what you're trying to say, but how you say it, how you engage them. And, you know, I get my red lines back from, from Damien and it's, it's really <laughs> clear that he said, well, why did you write, <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? So he's always thinking about, it, even in article to article, paragraph to paragraph, he's thinking about the value proposition. Damien, welcome. Hey, Mark, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. <clears throat> uh, we are very happy to help you as well. Um, I know I've talked about any number of things already, the Cal CPA Society, the Cal CPA Magazine, um, and all the other things that we haven't touched on. I know that you, you, you touch on a lot of different areas in Cal CPA. Uh, could, you, could you give an idea of you know, your core job and the kinds of things that you, that you touch and, and a little bit of history about you know, who you are? Sure, no problem. Um, I was born and raised in Marin County. Um, went to high school in St. Ignatius in San Francisco. I, from there, went to college at UC Santa Barbara down the, on the coast and spent a lot of time bouncing up and down between all the UC schools, visiting friends. So a happy time in my life. Um, after school, I graduated with an English degree um, and kind of didn't really know what I was going to do. Um, <clears throat> what I ended up doing is going on a tour to England with my father and uh, we visited his alma mater, uh, which is the University of Durham. It's in the north of England. Um, and, you know, I, I thought I was just going to you know, do some pub crawls with my dad, but we kind of got into town and he said, you know, they have a grad program here you might want to consider. So he obviously had another agenda for me. So we went, <laughs> we went and sat down with some faculty and talked to them about it. And um, long story short, I ended up going to grad school there um, and I did a English studies kind of degree with also um, a component in research. Um, I did that for, it took me about a year and a half. And when I came back, I got immediately into community newspapers. I landed a job. My first job out of that, out of school was as a staff writer for Marinscope Community Newspaper, which covered Sausalito, um, which was honestly a great job. I loved it. It was very salt of the earth journalism kind of, you know, going to city council meetings, planning commission meetings, and just reporting to the public. Um, I, so long, I can't really remember how long I was there, but I, I spent my time there. I kind of uh, 
raised up through the ranks and ended up being managing editor. Um, we actually had uh, five community newspapers covering each of the cities in Marin. Uh, we published weekly um, and I kind of managed that for a couple years before the re uh, recession hit um, and sales and um, ads for community newspapers really dropped off. Uh, the writing was on the wall. So I started looking for another job and I found Cal CPA who had this magazine, this trade magazine. So it was still in publishing. It was still, you know, journalistic. Um, it was running a news disc, an exciting news desk, one of the biggest economies in the world, really. Um, and it was sort of protected because it was a trade magazine and, you know, a lot of the income generated for Cal CPA doesn't necessarily um, based on those magazine ads. Uh, we have a lot of other things we do for CPA. So I took that job and I tell you, I think I just crossed 15 years, uh, the end of last month here. Um, and I do, as you said, the core of my job is dealing with the magazine. 